just the, you know, the Tale of Two Cities with PlayStation Neo and now uh, Project Scorpio. That Scorpio kept the lid on it long enough to give you the polished presentation and have a bunch of developers be like, we want to give you better experiences, we want to give you better games. This allows it, this allows it. Whereas Sony leaked it all out and it was just like, it's barely better, it's just for 4K, it's only for VR, rah, 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 and everybody got all mad about it. And now it is the same thing where whether you're coming up from below or from up high, you're going to get back to that midpoint of, well, what the hell, why do I need this system? And that's why I think that Scorpio has an advantage because the way that they're positioning this, and they might not know internally yet, Microsoft even might not even know internally what they're going to do with this machine, it seems powerful enough that it could be a new machine, like an entirely, and, and they're talking about it, like how it's backwards compatible and all those kinds of things. That is the problem with Sony, and that's why everyone's like, well, Colin, why are you so mad at Sony for PS4.5, but you think Scorpio's a good idea? And I'm like, because Scorpio seems like it's a new console, and they're just not saying it yet. And when you go back in time and you realize Microsoft released Xbox in the fall of 2001, and then in the fall of 2005, four years later, they released Xbox 360. Well, you see already a, a precedent being set for a new console that's backwards compatible. Yeah, sure. You know? like, so, like, I feel like, I feel like with Scorpio, they might be eyeing, like, like Aaron Greenberg told us, a generationless kind of approach to gaming. And Sony is having is taking a more iterative approach without being modular, um, with a machine that's not that much powerful, and they're selling it as being like, well, don't worry about it. It's not that much more powerful, and that's not going to sell the consoles. That's why I think Sony's fucking up, and that's why I think. Scorpio seems like it's more on the right path. You know, Patrick Klepik, like I said yesterday, a friend of ours, uh, Akitaku, wrote really well that the Scorpio is an admission by Microsoft that they lost. That like they're like they're saying like we lost, we lost. PS4 and Xbox One's over, but now we're moving on to the next thing, and it's going to be the bl lines are going to be blurred between that console. And I think that their their approach is smart. I continue to think that their hardware approach is smart. Well, I think Project Scorpio is them starting to prove it, but like Colin said, you know, they're seeding that sort of. PS4, Xbox One yeah. battle. They're like, oh, you know what? What we really want your eyes on is the future when we're going to be the big boss hogs on the scene. Yeah. yeah.